Hello friends, today our medical discussion episode number 27. Today our topic is acne. Today we will discuss details about acne, what is cause and how to treat and prevent. Sir, my first question is to you that there are so many patients having the complaint of acne. Now there are so many uh, confusion and controversy regarding cause of acne. So actually what is acne and what are the, what is the formation on process of acne? So uh, acne or pimples, uh, these are very common problems among the teenagers, mainly in the age group of 11 to 30 years of age. So uh, there are a lot of controversies as you have said or, con uh, or confusion about the formation uh, or the mechanism of acne formation about the causes of acne formation. Normally, there is a definite mechanism of acne formation. So what happens that uh, uh, we have the facial hairs. Uh, in the uh, men we have the beard, we, uh, in the females there are certain small uh, facial hairs. So in the uh, lower part of the hairs there is the hair follicle and surrounding the hair follicles there are certain oil glands and uh, these oil glands are mainly responsible for production of the oil and this oil goes through a duct and opens up in the hair follicle. So the main uh, mechanism, of the main uh, function of this oil is to nourish the uh, uh, this one hair follicle and also keep the facial, uh, facial part moisturized. So uh, this is the main normal anatomy of the uh, oil gland as well as the hair follicle. So there are certain causes because of which the, the, there may be deposition of extra dead skin uh, in this duct or there can be excessive oil production from the oil gland. So what happens because of these causes there can be blockage of the oil duct uh, that is going from the oil gland. So whenever there is blockage of this duct, there is al al always this production of the oil from that oil gland. So there will be excess accumulation of the oil uh, within this oil uh, gland. So there are certain normal bacterial flora, uh, it's it is present in almost all individuals. There is, these are the normal bacterial flora of the skin. And whenever this bacteria get, uh, gets the environment of this extra oil, they starts to grow within this oil gland. So a definitive uh, uh, the good environment for the bacterial growth uh, gets uh, accumulated in this oil gland and the bacteria starts growing there. So whenever there is bacterial growth in the oil gland, there will be an immune attack by our immune system and this leads to the inflammation within this oil gland. So uh, because of this inflammation, there can be uh, pus formation, there can be redness, pain, etc., which are normally found in the in any patient with problem of acne. So this is a definitive mechanism how a uh, acne is formed. It is not related to any kind of food or any kind of other dart or excess dart and all. So it is mainly the blockage of this oil duct which opens up in the hair follicle that leads to the excess accumulation of oil within, within this gland and this, uh, uh, this becomes a perfect environment for bacterial growth which ultimately leads to the acne formation. Thank you, sir. As you have nicely explained the mechanism and formation of acne. So now we would like to know the, what are the risk factors that cause the increasing the uh, cause of acne. So uh, as we have discussed, any condition that can uh, lead to the excessive oil production within the oil gland or the excessive deposition of the dead skin uh, in and around the follicles which leads to the blockage of the oil uh, duct can lead to the uh, this one uh, acne formation. So one of the most important cause is the hormonal uh, factors. There are certain factors which causes imbalance in the hormones mainly the puberty or the teenager age group that is between the 11 to 30 years of age where certain hormones like estrogen, testosterone are in the heights. So so because of these hormones there can be excessive oil production. In the pregnancy period there can be imbalance in the certain hormones and we have seen that during pregnancy there is increased risk of formation of the acne. Another important cause is the use of the oral contraceptive pills which uh, or sudden stoppage of the use of oral contraceptive pills which also leads to imbalance of certain hormones that lead to acne formation. 
there is a hypothesis that increased stress also causes uh, the acne formation there is not much evidence but it is seen that those people who already had the history of acne or pimples if they had increased stress or if they do any kind of stressful activity that emma the risk of forming acne increases there are also certain genetic factors if the uh, parents had history of forming uh, of acne their children or grandchildren may have increased acne formation there are certain uh, risk with the use of cosmetic also because certain cosmetics increases oil production or there are certain more greasy or oily cosmetics the use of which can lead to increased risk of acne formation also use of certain medications that increases the oil production also we have already discussed about oral contraceptive pills use of these medications also can increase the risk of forming the acne so these are the most common causes on the risk factors that can lead to the formation of pimples thank you sir uh, so now i would like to ask the last question that so what is the treatment and the, what are the precaution that can we take for this acne so whenever a person uh, has a problem of acne or if a person wants to prevent acne he has to uh, abide by certain uh, rules or he should be very careful uh, in using mainly os- uh, cosmetics because if he is using cosmetics that increases oil formation that can lead to acne formation so any person whose skin is oily or a person who has risk factors for acne he should use those cosmetics uh, who those uh, which are anti comedian so this type of uh, 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 cosmetics Uh, decreases the oil production or these are non greasy non oily and this prevents the formation of acne next uh, the uh, if a person has acne he should uh, prevent himself from using the fingers to prick to squeeze or rub uh, this uh, acne because if he does these things then there is increased risk of scar formation that ultimately lead to the uh, this one uh, extra pigmentation that's are very difficult to remove so he should never use his fingers to prick uh, or rub his uh, rub the acne next uh, the most important thing is to wash and cleanse the face he uh, can use a cleanser uh, a mild cleanser to cleanse the uh, face they can use daily twice daily or uh, after exercise because after exercise the risk of forming or the amount of oil production increases so uh, even after using twice daily with uh, after every exercise uh, they can uh, cleanse their face with a mild cleanser next they can also use a toner uh, after cleansing the face because toner help to uh, cleanse the pores of the face so after um, using a mild cleanser use of a toner is also recommended next uh, if a person use uh, rough soaps or a person use uh, scrubs so this type of uh, uh, this chemicals or this type of cosmetics also helps to um, increase the uh, risk of forming acne because whenever a person uses such uh, rough soaps or scrubs there is increased friction between this and the uh, skin so whenever there will be more friction there will be more oil production so a person should refrain himself Uh, from using extra rough uh, soaps or using the scrubs next if a person even after uh, doing this preventive measures if he or she suffers from acne they can use anti acne creams or lotions because these are uh, available over the counter medications use of this acne and uh, anti acne creams uh, helps to reduce the formation or even treat the formation of acne so the uh, use of this anti acne cream help to prevent acne uh, or treat acne in one to one or two months period it's not that it, they will uh, help to cure acne in one week it will take around 4 uh, to 6 weeks time however if a person has uh, acne vulgaris that is the more severe form of the acne he or she should visit a doctor because uh, uh, having such problem are, uh, requires the use of certain medications certain antibiotics to prevent the bacterial growth so these are some of the most common preventive measures some of the most common treatment modalities to prevent or to treat the formation of acne Thank you, sir, for this wonderful session, and we have learned so many new things today. So I hope you will like it, sir. At last, what you would like to request to the audience? 
so acne it is a very common problem among the teenager group uh, or the young age groups so is uh, acne is a very much preventable condition you uh, just uh, uh, you uh, cleansing the face with a mild cleanser preventing uh, the uh, uh, or uh, you uh, preventing one uh, oneself to use the fingers from uh, rubbing or pricking the acne because it will lead to scar formation if a person is using any cosmetics which increases oil he or she should uh, avoid that if he or she is taking any medications that increases oil formation he should uh, uh, stop using those things and uh, uh, consulting a doctor whenever required uh, if after uh, um, abiding by this uh, techniques or abiding by this uh, treatment modalities uh, he or she is still suffering from acne that, that requires the use of certain medications i hope uh, uh, this video is very helpful to know the basics of the acne i hope you will all like share and subscribe our channel thank you all